Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to Tasca Automation Tutorial. So this is our lesson 5 where I am going to teach you what is model based test automation and why does Tasca, Tricent is Tasca follows model based test automation. And then I am going to show you some standard modules of Tasca that comes along with your Tosca installation. I, I think I already published four YouTube videos. I highly recommend you guys to go through those videos before you watch this session. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, so model based test automation is being used by Tricentis Tosca. Why? Because the model based test automation advantages are very good compared to script based automation. The model contains, so the model whatever Tasca is using, right? Those models contains the technical information and the expected behavior of your system under test. So the model is then so if you see on the screen, right, in the middle, there is a model, right, which is called module in the form of uh, Tosca. So you, you're going to get familiar from the next session onwards. Why do we use models and then how to create test cases? For now, just listen as a theoretical part. Okay, so from next session onwards, we are going to interact with all these modules, models and then test cases. Okay, so the model, whatever is created is being then fed with business data needed for testing with in the form of for testing which in the form of test cases so basically the model whatever is created is then fed with business data needed for testing which forms your test cases so basically the model or the modules itself forms test cases once you feed the business data very simple and you need not to have any scripting knowledge. Anyone can contribute to automation because of this model based test automation. And also it reduces the maintenance. If your application system under test has been changed, for example, then you just need to update the model, which is called module. And then those changes will automatically be made to all impacted test cases. You need not to change the test case by test case. Okay, that's the very advantage. Okay, and these models can be reused as many times as you need. These models can be reused as many times as possible and as many test cases as possible. Okay, so that's the advantage. Okay, and then the next agenda item is standard modules in Tosca. This standard module is actually comes along with the Tosca installation. Okay, so what is the advantage of this standard module? So this stores very basic elements and functions that are useful for any kind of application automation. So these are reusable modules that you need, need not to build as they are readily available for you. Because if for example, you need to interact with an Excel sheet. You need to open an Excel sheet, right? You want to handle pop-up boxes. So all these reusable, I mean, to basically interact or to do all these actions, you have to build some scripts, right? Reusable functions. So in this case, you need not to build them. These are readily available as a modules, standard modules, right? Open URL. This is also one reusable function. So that is available as a standard module. Okay. So all these are all actually reusable modules that you need not to build and you need not to spend time because these are readily available in Tosca. And how and where you can find these Tosca standard modules. So let me let's jump onto the system and see what are these standards modules, how can we use them 
and where can you find in the task up. Okay, so let's jump onto the system. To all viewers, uh, a big thank you whoever watching my YouTube videos. So what I can observe uh, around 86.8% .8 of the viewers are watching my videos but uh, they have not subscribed to my channel. I would recommend and I would request everyone please do subscribe to the channel and encourage me in posting more and more videos uh, which are helpful for you guys. Thank you. Okay, so where can we find uh, Tosca standard modules? Okay, so this is my uh, Tosca 16. Okay, so when you are creating a new workspace, right? Click on create new workspace. I have already explained you how to create workspace in my previous sessions. Okay, so when you are creating a new workspace, you can see when I am clicking on use workspace template, right? This is where the standard dot tsu file is available standard modules okay let's copy this path and let me go to that path okay so this is your path where i have installed my tasca when i am installing my tasca it creates all these folders in this path okay so under this i can see there is a file called standard dot tsu this is what the tasca standard module okay so if i use this tasca standard module let's create one workspace standard module understanding okay let's create this workspace i'm using the standard module that is provided by tasca okay click on okay so where can i see the modules okay so once it creates the workspace I'm going to navigate to modules and then I'm going to show you what are these standard modules. Okay, what are all the different standard modules that are available in Tosca. Okay, so if you see, if I go to modules, see these are all the standard modules that, you, that are being provided by Tosca. Under T-Box Automation Tool, Example, basic windows operation. What kind of being windows operations? If you want to send keys, you can send keys. Or if you want to perform windows operation, you can perform windows operation. Right? If you want to scroll window, then you can scroll the window. And then file operations. If you want to compare the file, you can use this module. So basically, all these modules are already built. You need not to create a separate script or you need not to build a script to basically use these operations, right? File comparison, they already provided to you. So you need not to build a script to compare the file, right? And let's assume T-Box engine, let's say HTML. Under HTML, see one simple example, close browser, open URL, so you need not to write any, these are all the reusable functions or modules that is provided by Tosca. So you need not to write script for opening the URL. You need not to write script for closing the browser because I can reuse this n number of times. I can reuse this n number of times in any test case, right? That's an example. And then if you want to, let's go to some other examples, okay? Open. If you want to use any SAP related uh, uh, modules, you can use SAP related modules. If you want to use some Excel functions like opening Excel book, workbook, it's already available. So you need not to build a script for connecting the Excel and then uh, opening the Excel book, closing the Excel book, creating the Excel worksheet, right? Deleting the Excel worksheet. So you need not to build all these things all these things are available pdf comparing the pdf you already have one module available right so all these kind of different kind of standard modules are already available and you can use these standard modules n number of times in any test case that you would like to automate okay it's really helpful it saves a lot of time 
in automating any kind of application okay hope you all understand the concept of standard modules and also what is model based testing in tosca okay if you have any queries you can leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries thank you